Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, today we have some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, and what I thought we would do for this video is actually discuss the helicopters, and basically give you guys a guide to everything you need to know about the attack helicopters here in Modern Warfare Remastered. Now, initially I thought it would be kind of a silly idea to make an entire video dedicated to just discussing helicopters, but the attack helicopter here in Modern Warfare Remastered is a pretty big deal, it's the biggest kill streak in the game, you see several of them every single match, it's a big deal, so I figured an entire guide dedicated to teaching you guys everything you need to know about these helicopters would be a good video so hopefully you guys will sit back relax and enjoy while we discuss the attack helicopters here in call of duty modern warfare remastered so the attack helicopter itself has a base health pool of 1100 hit points which is actually not all that much but it does have built-in bullet protection until it reaches 50 percent health until it reaches that 50 percent health threshold it will actually only take 30 percent of normal damage from bullets which makes it so it actually lives quite a long time this is why if you've ever had a helicopter come in you start like shooting at it with an rpd for example it feels like you're not doing anything well that's because each one of those bullets is only doing 30 percent of its normal damage until the helicopter itself reaches 50 percent of its health due to a large percentage of the player base running stopping power it's actually pretty easy to take out helicopters very quickly i know i play a lot of ground war and oftentimes i'll call in my helicopter and it will be shot down as soon as it comes into the map because if you have four or five people all using stopping power all shooting at this helicopter as soon as it comes in Sure, it may get one or two kills, but it'll probably die pretty quickly because all they have to do is get down to 50% health. And then once that happens, it basically just dies instantly. Now, if you're in a situation where you don't have a lot of people actually helping you shoot down the helicopter as soon as it comes in, the best way to solo it would be with an RPG or an explosive of some kind. Because while it does have built-in bullet protection, it does not have any built-in explosive protection. You can hit helicopters with grenades. You can hit them with C4, but that's very difficult, of course. It's very hard to set that up. So the best way obviously is to use an RPG. A direct impact from an RPG will deal 1000 direct damage to the helicopter leaving it with only 100 health left which means you can sneeze on the thing and it's going to fall over right out of the sky right. It's very very easy. Now if you are using sonic boom on your RPG one direct impact will in fact take out the helicopter. Alternatively if you're playing on a map that has a turret like a mounted machine gun then those are incredibly effective at taking out helicopters because they do a ridiculous amount of damage. In fact they are so powerful, they could take out a brand new helicopter in just a matter of seconds. You guys are watching me here on Ambush just destroy helicopter after helicopter. I joined this game late. The other team was just destroying my team. And so I sat in the back just shooting down helicopter after helicopter because that's how powerful these turrets actually are. Now, of course, they aren't on every map. They are on Ambush. They are on Downpour, for example. They are on uh, Backlot. There's a number of maps that have these turrets, but there's also a number of maps that don't have them. So if you're playing on a map that doesn't have them, switch to an RPG class, take out helicopters that way, but if your map does have a turret, use those things, man. They're ridiculously powerful. Now, while in the air, helicopters themselves will actually run the same route over and over. For each map, they have a set route that they run, regardless of faction, right? If you're playing for the Spetsnaz or for the SAS, it doesn't really matter. They will run the same route every single time. It's actually pretty beneficial for you to try to learn these routes. Like, for example, on Overgrown, the helicopters themselves will always land, quote-unquote. They basically just hover there for a second. In the middle of the creek bed and they will also always land in the little field next to the barn itself knowing where they like to land quote unquote or hover is actually beneficial because if you're using an rpg or if you're set up on a turret or what have you it's easy to take them out when they're hovering like that in those situations assuming of course they don't actually hit you which they will be trying to hit you because helicopters themselves work off of a threat based targeting system to determine which enemy to actually shoot at so the biggest threatening factor is indeed the scoreboard, right? And I've complained about this for years because I freaking hate it, but the biggest threatening factor is actually the scoreboard. If you have a high kill-death ratio in a particular match, or if you have a high amount of score in a particular match, then when an enemy helicopter comes in, it is going to target you immediately, right? It's going to target the best player on the other team as soon as it comes in most of the time, assuming, of course, other factors aren't coming into play. Your weapon is a factor that will come into play, so shotgun players have lower threat quote-unquote to helicopters than say an 
assault rifle or a submachine gun player. People that actually shoot at helicopters, they generate high threat against helicopters as well. So if you're somebody who is like high up on the scoreboard and you're shooting at the helicopter, it's pretty much going to kill you immediately, right? But if you're somebody who's not doing that good and you're using a shotgun, then mostly helicopters are going to ignore you, although they will still kill you, right? Because they also work off of proximity. So if you're close to the helicopter, it's going to prioritize you over people who are maybe a little bit further away. Bottom line, there's really no way to hide from a helicopter. There are things you can do to raise or lower your threat against the helicopter, but it will still try to kill you given the chance, right? The best thing you can do is either try to shoot it down immediately or just hide in a building or hide out of its line of sight because it can kill anybody. There's no way to be immune, essentially, unless, of course, you're hiding in a building or outside of the helicopter's line of sight itself. One fun quirk about helicopters in Call of Duty 4 as well as Modern Warfare Remastered is if you earn one and then die and then call in your helicopter, the kills that it earns will actually count towards your next kill streak. So let's say you spawn in, you get a kill, you call in your helicopter, and your helicopter immediately gets a double kill, you then have a UAV. It's helping you earn your next set of kill streaks, which is pretty cool. And another fun fact is the Op 4 and the Spetsnaz, they share a helicopter, right? They share the MI-24 Hind helicopter, whereas the SAS and the Marines, they share the AH-1 Super Cobra. And here's the weird thing, the Hind is a little bit bigger than the Super Cobra, which means it's easier to hit. So if you're playing for the Op 4, or if you're playing for the Spetsnaz side, your helicopters are going to be easier to shoot down as compared to if you were playing for the Marines or playing for the SAS. That is just one of the many fun quirks of Modern Warfare Remastered and Call of Duty 4, in my opinion. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude this short little video. I just wanted to make a video describing everything about the attack helicopter here in Modern Warfare Remastered. For those of you guys that don't know, now you know everything there is to know about them. And hopefully, it will help you out in some form while actually playing the Modern Warfare Remastered multiplayer. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please drop me a rating. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.